Hello there, this is Do-It-Yourself Homeschooling Multiplication Games, 180 Days of Math, Art, and Logic Fun. That's by Sarah Brown. And you can see the thickness here. And it's a regular sized book. Provide the student with a pencil eraser instead of sharp colored pencils. The student will be able to use logic intuitively to complete each mind game, art game, or puzzle. Use one or more pages per day. Provide the student with a peaceful place to work and be available to encourage the student if needed. Complete the multiplication table. Math is everywhere. Ten missing items on this page. Can you figure out what they are? So we're just completing multiplication tables here. So some logic puzzles. Missing, missing numbers. more number logic which is really fun. I'm looking forward to using this one with our son in a year or two. He's actually figuring out some multiplication by himself um, which is neat. We're doing addition and subtraction right now but he's just taking it to the next level. So I really love these games in here and see she keeps on taking out more and more spaces. And different spaces, I guess I could say. There we go. And this is just a hundred sheet right here. So there's a multiplication table and then a hundred sheet. This one's counting by twos. Well, one, two, three, four, ten, two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine. So counting not by twos, by different counting by different numbers. But that's why they're puzzles. So you need to figure out what the what what the uh, what's changing in each each one of them and fill in the blanks. So I really like this. I think this is like really unique. It's not just you know drilling and drilling and drilling. It's got it's got a lot of uh, really unique and interesting logic for students um, to do something that might not be you know the norm for them. So I love how creative these are. I probably could sit down. I have an engineering degree, so I probably, I really like math, so I could probably just sit down and do this myself. Just for fun. And here's some practice. So, like I said, of course it's repetitive, you know, completing a multiplication table, but there's some elements of fun brought into it that will help uh, a child remember how to do multiplication right here. There you go, right there. So, there you have it. This is, once again, Do-It-Yourself Multiplication Games by Sarah Brown of The Thinking Tree. I hope you enjoyed this.